Hello, hello, hello. It's your boy Ambassador, Ambassador again doing his thing. I just had to pop around. I'm going to come and drop a few lines. Um, actually, it's an EP, a TT track EP, which he called um, Bovamania, I think, yeah. Bovamania. And, well, I feel like it's kind of not what I expected. It's um, 3 minutes 45 seconds. It's from a 13 track EP called Bovamania. And the, 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 the cover art is the whole Bovamania thing written in some fiery colors. And I was expecting a lot because a lot of drama has been going on around AKA, especially coming from the Caspanya side of things. Yeah. So, I mean, he released this track since the 5th of November, but I was like, I did not get no buzz yet. But the first track I listened to was the Mufasa track, and you all know why it's a Mufasa track. I mean, I'm always I, I like the whole beef thing, and I like deep lyrics too. Uh, most of the time, he has not been giving us deep, lyrics, especially as he moved from the composure composure era to the recent things that's been watering down. So I was not so keen to listen to what was coming out. But the Mufasa thing, I just had to check it out. And truth be told, man, I was not impressed. So first, we all know AK has the standing beef with Caspar Nyoves, and they are all threatening or leading to a boxing match between the two. Um, now he puts out the trap Mufasa. We also know that Caspar Nyoves has adopted the nickname Mufasa for some time now. So when he put out that thing, I, I mean, someone said he had been planning to put out a trap, but he was waiting to see what Caspar Nyoves was saying in his own album, knowing that Caspar Nyoves put out an album or his um some some um tracks recently he did not take no real direct shots at aka like that so both of them have this passive thing but you can see that the tension is high to its highest i mean if they are planning to go for a boxing match it's going to be crazy but they are not taking direct shots like that in the in the name of they don't want to promote each other i recall caspar nervous on breakfast club he was asked about aka and he said he does not want to talk about him he does not want to do promo for him yeah, because he has worked hard to get the AK should work hard to get the two. So I, I feel like that's why they are not taking direct shots. But this is hip hop, man. If you want to take a shot, take a real shot. Because as I was listening to this track, I didn't listen to the rest of the album. I was just like, Pfft. it had lots of singing in it. Um, his open lines were mostly shout out to some South African greats. I think I had Benny McCarthy or something there like that. He was not real. That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, I mean, it's really like the the, the 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 hype and the noise the fans were making online about Mufasa. They felt like that should be the opening track to the boxing match. I mean, that's what um, Caspar Nyoves should walk to the to walk on the stage or um, the boxing ring with. I felt like it was some killer track. Yeah, but when I listened to it, I, it was not. I don't think he really intended it to be a beef track. It was that kind of um, subtle jabs as he likes to take, but. There were the lines where he said, over 10 years, I don't pay my dues. I don't give a shit who next. I don't play fair. Only bears care about you. Yeah, that's all people can say he's talking to Casper, but he might not be talking to Casper. I mean, when someone you go too hard on, like, why did he say this? Fan to say Mufasa, it's not Casper's name. It's, it's a lion, the, the father of, uh, yeah, of the, the, the Lion King. So yeah he should take a direction if he wants to and he gets more entertaining that way and would have built more tension towards the boxing match yeah i would have bought some um tickets or merchandise in that direction of the boxing match or whatever but now this track i don't know how to feel here i just feel like it's it's a feel good track he's doing a couple of shout outs there but when he didn't say like every year deja vu i'm like yeah it's almost like the person is doing the same thing every year but now it's not direct so i cannot really get that excited about it or be that engaged about the line it's just thrown out there like that he laughs, he laughs all the way to the bank um he's a champ Louis hamilton so a lot of those kind of braggadocious lines but not really seeing anything directly so i that's not what i expected from the mufasa track if at all i'm especially as i said most of my hype was coming off what the fans were saying on facebook so i just went there and i was expecting something because when you watch the interviews you can tell that this guy is, is not cool between these two but that's not what i was getting so for me I, i'm just waiting to see what the boxing match is going to look like or whatever but i feel like 
Oh, I'll go back and listen to the rest of the EP just to get a general feel of hip hop in Africa as a whole. But maybe, maybe, um, what's his name? Maybe Max Cortez was right to say South Africa does not stand a chance. Maybe, I don't know. But the fans are open to their opinion. That's just my opinion. And I have to go listen to the rest of the EP to, to come up with a conclusion.